Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. Today I'm gonna to walk you through the Google Sidebar settings. Uh, what options you have with those settings, what apps uh, or add-ons that you can add into those. So let's jump into it. So the first thing that you'll want to do is just open up your Gmail window. Um, you can notice here that I have a Gmail account that's open. I've got my navigation bar. I've got the Gmail icon up here. I have my settings and, and, and other things right here. So the two sidebars that, that I'm gonna be referring to today are is the right sidebar here and the left sidebar over here, which has mail, chat, spaces, and meet. So the first thing that you'll want to understand is how to open and close those or minimize and maximize those. So over on the left-hand sidebar here, if I just click the three lines of the hamburger, depending on who uh, or what you, you do for a living, when I click on the hamburger, that expands these here. Over on the right sidebar to expand, when we click this little arrow all the way down in the bottom right here, click on that and we'll op open those. So we can minimize or maximize any one of these that we have over and we can actually turn these on or off except for the mail. So you'll see that we have the little uh, right carrot there, the right arrow. When I click on mail, that's actually gonna expand my inbox. Below each category on the left-hand side, when I scroll right to the line, I can actually drag and drop that space. And so when I minimize or maximize everything, you'll, you can see that I can drag and drop how much I see here. So I've got my chat open. If I open my spaces, the chat kind of goes all the way to the top when I open my meet. So this space right here for spaces is rather large. So depending on how you have your um, inbox set up, um, it may look like four inboxes, it may look like three, it doesn't, doesn't really matter what that looks like, what we're focusing on over here. So when I open up mail, you'll have all these options here. And again, I can shrink that up here. When we open chat, you'll see that I have my previous conversations here. To add a new chat, I would click start chat, and then just start typing in one of my contacts, and that chat will open up over here. Spaces, it's the same thing. We hit the plus sign, we create a new space. When we get to meet, we can uh, create a new meeting, which will then open up a new window for meet.google. We can then share this link here, start. I'm not gonna go into that process, that's a different video. Um, or we can join a meeting and we would just type in the code here. Now the way that we can turn these on or off so that they appear or disappear is we click on settings, click on see all settings, Right over here where it says chat and meet, you'll see here that I have it clicked on Google Chat. You can also bring back classic Hangouts for a little while longer till they actually get that fully migrated. I can click off here. You'll notice that I can change my chat position if it's on the left-hand side or the right side. So if I click right side, once I hit save, it will move everything over to this side. Then I can actually show the meet section here or hide the meet section. So I'm gonna make all of these uh, changes right now. When I click on save changes, you'll see what that does. So what you'll notice now is that all of those options are gone. Spaces is gone, meet is gone, and chat is gone. It's no longer here. If somebody sends me a message, that shows up over here. So to turn those back on, just go to settings, see all settings, chat and meet. I'm going to put my chat position back in the left-hand side. I'm going to hide meet and it's gonna say, oh, welcome to Google Chat. Save changes. And now you'll see that I have chat and spaces turned on the right. Chat and spaces are connected together. When you open that option, those two will always be side by side. Um, this kind of squeezes your inbox a little bit more. I prefer to have the chat and spaces on the left side. That is up to you how you wanna have your settings. So we'll leave it there. Now over on the right hand side sidebar, we have hundreds of options actually, but the ones that are kind of built in are Google Calendar here. So when I click on Calendar, you'll notice that I'll open up my calendar here and it'll give me a day view and I can go back and forth between the days and put um, different meetings in there. I have Google Keep, which I can then start a little Google Keep uh, option here and you'll notice that I already have notes in here and pictures and images from stuff that I've been doing on this account. 
We then have tasks, which where we can add task lists. I don't use this email for tasks. I use my school email, but when I click on get started, you'll see here that I have options in here that show me what that looks like in a task. So when I click it off, you'll notice that it disappears. There's a whole nother video on what task is. Then we have contacts. Contacts will actually pull up all of my individual contacts that I have saved in this account. So if I want to add an individual person, um, I can just come over to contacts, grab them. If I'm looking for an email address, that also auto populates when I'm searching to send an email here is it'll pull up the contacts. You also have the option to add any other Google add-on that works with Gmail. So when I click on this plus sign here, you'll notice that I have all of these um, possible add-ons. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, uh, depending on what your um, district, school, or work um, Google domain uh, has options to, you can place those in there. So for example, if I wanted to add Zoom, click on Zoom, when I install Zoom, I have to verify the account. It's gonna go through all of the permissions here. I will click on allow. And then you'll notice that I have Zoom down here. Now what you'll, you'll see is this little tiny line. These are the four that will always be there. And then the add-ons that you choose will be here. And again, to make this right sidebar disappear, we just click that little arrow down at the bottom. It's pretty easy to navigate once you get used to it. Uh, most likely if you're here, it's because you're an educator. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.